Hi everyone, uh, welcome to the Apache Pig uh, sample project overview. Uh, this is an Excel sheet which uh, actually shows you in the first column the different kinds of uh, games that are actually there from uh, the uh, you know, one of the most famous company called Electronic Arts EA. Uh, so there are various games which uh, they have developed here. And the second column shows the users, sample users who use these games. The third column is uh, the score that each user has got in that particular game. The fourth column is uh, all the platforms where uh, the, all the games can be played. And the fifth column is a short description about what the game is uh, actually, what does it do. So we have this big list of uh, maybe about like um, close to 1,194 uh, rows here, which shows all these columns. So this Excel sheet, which anyone can create on the Windows uh, desktop using Microsoft Office, is uh, named as Games, games.xls uh, X format. The uh, second Excel, the Excel sheet that I have prepared is the same users in the earlier uh, sheet that you have seen and uh, their ages. So, for example, John 12 user is about 12 years age and uh, so on. So, for all the users, we have uh, their particular ages. So, with this kind of database, <coughs> imagine this is a, a small database, but imagine you have uh, probably 2 to 3 terabytes of uh, such kinds of data. Uh, which happens in real time. Uh, now let us say if we have two questions that we want to solve. The first question is, uh, in each game, we want to know what is the highest score right, that, is, uh, uh, that is gained by a particular user. So the question is, what is the highest score of uh, any user of a particular game? And we want to list out the output in the form of the highest score uh, by a particular user in a particular game. So we want to see for all the games what is the highest score. And the second question is what is the average age of all the users or players uh, in each particular game. Right. So these are the two questions that we would like to solve using uh, Hadoop. Now the following steps have been uh, executed. So the first step that we do is you save these two Excel files or you save this particular um, Excel workbook in the form of the tag delimited text format. Right? So um, all the columns are separated by or delimited by tab. So we use this particular uh, um, way to save this file on the desktop. So I've already done that and in my folder you can see these uh, two Excel files based on the two, uh, actually these two text documents which are tab delimited based on the two Excel files that have been uh, created. Now using Hadoop, <coughs> what you can do is, you can actually, if you have the particular facility, you can actually drag and drop, right, you can use the drag and drop facility to actually take this from your Windows environment directly to the desktop of your Linux environment. Right? So this is pretty easy here and therefore I have dragged these two files games.txt and gameusers.txt onto the desktop. Okay? And uh, so from the desktop I have copied these files into a particular folder called uh, July. I have just taken some uh, folder here. If you can see if I go back you can see two folders, right? July and training. And uh, <coughs> this is actually on the desktop of training, which I have copied using the command cp slash home slash training slash desktop slash game and star. Okay, so you can copy all the files, um, which which are you have the name, game, and followed by s or users and so on. So I've copied this here and put a dot. The dot shows that I'm copying to this particular folder. Right? So using this command, I have uh, copied the file. And uh, let me go back into the uh, particular file. Let me clear this up. And you can see these two files called games.txt and gameusers.txt. Right? Now, 
I have created a, um, a file called high underscore score dot pitch, so which you can do that using nano high underscore score dot pitch. Okay, so it will basically show the script. Um, so we are running the um, the, the function uh, in the local script mode. Mm -hmm. So for the local, we use pig minus x local, and this is in the script format. So we use um, we basically type all the scripts in one text. Okay, so what I've done is basically I've first loaded the games.txt file using this relation called uh, scores using pick storage and it is separated by tab. As, as I have mentioned earlier, the four or five columns that we have, the first is the game, the name, the score which is an integer, the platform from which the games work, character ID, and the description of the particular game. Then I have used another relation called game underscore scores with which I have grouped all the scores by that particular game. Okay, so you have the group as the, as the, as the game and then it will show you all the tuples with that particular game and all the scores in those, in those tuples. And the third relation is stop underscore game underscore scores in which I say for each relation called game underscore scores for each output of that we are actually ordering it in pig v is it's the same as sort we are using this transformation called order the scores by the score in a descending format once i have ordered all the scores in the descending format uh, the, the highest score which is the first row right i want to use that particular thing alone for each game so I want to limit that output by each game to the first row. So the top score is the first row. So I would like to limit that by the first row. So that's why I said one. And then I would flatten that particular uh, relation called top underscore score underscore back. The second one, okay. Then I dump this uh, these uh, this relation, and it will show me the highest score in each game, right? Similarly. I have used another relation called players and this whole thing is to find out the average age of all the players in each game. So I have loaded the file called gameusers.txt and uh, tab delimited. This is there are only two columns, name and age. I put that as character array and integer. And then I would like to join the first, you know, the, the second and the first relation. The, so the players relation by name. And this is a simple uh, query that I'm putting it as uh, as join, right? And uh, this course, which is this one right here, with the same name. So I've got this particular column called name in both these tables, basically. Mm -hmm. So once I join them, I group them. I group them by the particular game, right? So you have uh, the whole table combined, and I want to group this particular relation uh, with that particular game. And then to calculate the average, this is the relation, average underscore ages. For each of those outputs, I would like to generate the group and the average of you know, the particular age from this relation called player underscore scores as age, I have defined as the data type as double because um, the average when you calculate could be in decimals, right? So I put them as double and then I'm dumping that particular relation called average underscore ages. Right. So let us execute this command using the local script mode, which is pig minus x local high score underscore score dot pig. Okay. So the backend is completely map reduced here. Okay, I think it has generated the first output. Now we're going to see the second output, which is the average age of all the players in each game. Right. So we have got this output. So for each game, let's say for Command and Conquer, Red Alert 3, pricing the, the average age of all the players for this game is 17.6 years. Okay. So similarly, we have got for all the games here. Great. Now, let us look at the first output. Let's go back and see. Wow. So here you can see the score right there. 
with the highest score right that is uh, achieved by any user in each of these games okay so we can see the highest game 5080 and so on so i hope you enjoyed the session and um, if you have any doubts please uh, email me or put a comment or you can feel free to you know, uh, give any suggestion there or call me. Thank you very much.